Have you ever thought to yourself, wow, we, there's an awful lot of male children in my colony named after things to do with strength, such as bicep, pec, steroid, deadlift, and protein? Well, that's because there's only 12 possible nicknames for male children in Rimworld, so I am taking that Ooh, as a sign mama. from above that it's finally time Ooh. for a series with Tren. Train. I meant train, as in trading. What if melee training was uncapped? What if the supplements flowed freely straight into their mouths? Not veins, no, no, no. And what if every weapon other than cold, hard fisting was banned? Well, my friends, you'd have a series a little bit like this one. And what if I use this crazy experiment as a form of catharsis only two days before the DLC is released? And then I thought to myself, if I was a muscle-clad gym bro, what would I like to punch? More importantly, what would muscle-clad gym bros like to punch? Number one, children. Aww. I am sick of children in Rimworld. This is not off to a good start, is it, my god? Number two, Void. This is a bit of a personal one, because Void made my wife leave me. I want to punch Void. Not just any Void, though. It's Drunken Void, because uh, Fist Fighting Void didn't exactly go well last time I tried it. One for the gym bros. McRonald's, the McRonald's Corporation, a purveyor of grease, a seller of filth. Then, of course, the enemy of all gym bros, distractions. The distracting love in... in, in uh, uh, the distracting love interest led by Stacy Chaddle. Keep them away and focus only on yourself, bros. And finally, our greatest enemy of all. The Anti-Trend Police, Drug Task Force 7. And you're probably thinking, hold on, muscle-clad gym bros, does this mean this is going to be exclusively a series of hot, sweaty men working out in close quarters wearing very little clothing? The answer is no, my friends. Anyone is welcome to be a gym bro, especially gym bros, including uh, Connie Rollman. Where are you going? We have Connie Rollman, Iron World Martial Artist Tough Aculean with 23. Melee, the biggest and most pumped power lifter, and more importantly, an anabolic bro. You've got Stam Sully, high melee, high social, because he is an aesthetic bro. A kind guy that builds up his other bros, not knocks them down. <laughs> I didn't realize you'd started with that. And then finally we have Chadwick Uber, the man they call Uber Chad. A man who sculpts his body for one reason and one reason only cold, hard fighting to become the ultimate warrior and the ultimate weapon. This guy is allegedly our science bro, but with one or two things different about him. Our goals are simple, my friends. Lift until we can lift no more. I want to see 100 melee. I want to see people so strong they punch a hole clean through void. The mods, the mechanics, the systems, and the gym bro flavor pack. You can do all of these things and more. And if you want to play along at home, why? <laughs> Why would you do that? Because of Steam's new policy, if you do want to play along, the downloads will be available in the video description. Not on Steam, but obviously you'll need to go to Steam to get the workshop and everything else. It's very confusing. You can blame Steam for that, lunatics. And how could I forget the most important thing of all? Our ideology. A good, strong, Christian ideology. This was totally random. I, I was making the ideology. This popped up totally randomly, and I said, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to go for that, actually. Supremacist, human primacy, flesh crafting, and blood court. The strongest leads us, and your duty is to yourself. We want pain. We want recreation. Gymming, of course, counts as recreation. We want artwork so we can appreciate that big gold gym poster. A few basic roles. The leader is the biggest and the most pumped. The moral guide is the spot of the medical specialist being the MD. Research specialist being our science bro and the merchant being the trend guy. There are rituals, my god. <laughs> my god. Our buildings were all very sensible and normal things. Don't worry about it too much. This is, of course, the quest for the Swoley Grail, so we do want to go and grab ourselves that relic at some point. That would be fantastic. Fighting our way through Void and Succubus and everything else that might stand between us and it. Melee only, we venerate chickens. We've got some preferred center types there. It's only partial match, so it's not very strict. And we prefer, of course, tank tops, briefs, and... Some knuckle dusters there to help out with the punching. I have made a tremendous mistake, and this series is only part of it. <laughs> and of course, we've got to build a gym, haven't we? That's got to be our home. A live-in gym. We've got hospitality. We've got vending machines. We've got dubs bad hygiene. Uh, of course, we've got the gym mod. Otherwise, how else would I throw down all of our exercise equipment? But we haven't even got it all unlocked. This is so sad. We've got lying around high gain milkshakes, smelling salts. Trend and pre-workout. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is going to be a very drug-forward series. What can I say? Uh, I do need to point out for legal reasons that everything is, um, of course, very standard, normal, normal, normal standard legal drugs. It's a video game, okay? Well, I mean, naturally, I've got to put training as the top priority, right? It'd be wrong of me not to do that. Cycle? No, no, no. We're off cycle at the moment. No, thank you. All we're going to do is just build a little shack for everybody to sleep in, and then the gym can grow over time as our needs grow. 
Okay, we're not just going to be immediately slamming down this beautiful state-of-the-art gym. That's not how this works. What we do have, of course, is the RPG level up mod so that we can spend points on on strength. That's right. Why would I spend it on anything else? I don't care what the... Well, maybe constitution is arguably, like, pretty good. But we're going we're gonna to spend some points here on uh, on strength. Why does Uberchav have so many more points than everyone else? This is what I'm going to allow. Okay, we're going to go... All but one point into strength, and then we're going to spend the rest on constitution. There you are. Just make them a little bit tougher. Bear in mind, we're up against frightening, terrifying factions. Here we have a boring, standard RimWorld map. It's so boring. No enormous flowers, no nuclear waste. It's just a it's just a RimWorld map. Come to Mr. Samuel Streamer's RimWorld series. We have funny references to characters from previous episodes. We have evil corporation taking over the world and a very one-sided fight, which is probably going to get us killed by episode 10. Very, very basic things, okay? Nothing crazy to kick things off. And then we're going to focus on getting the important stuff down. We're going to have to farm, aren't we? This is disgusting. We're going to have to farm. On the plus side, it's physical labor, okay? You've got nothing else to do. Take up farming. That's a great plan. Uh, rice? Then all we've got to do is find the chicken. No, we need, like, beans. Are you telling me there are no beans here? You see, bro, if you put your mind to it, there's nothing you can't do. Like building a horrible box house. It's a lot of work, okay? Eating six, seven thousand calories a day. We're going to need the nutrient paste dispenser. You know what? In hindsight, that is the worst place I could have put that. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Oh, my God. You could turn the paste dispenser into a vending machine? Well, that is awesome. The gym crowd's gonna love it. We're gonna need some sort of power, though. Hold on. Human power generator? Like a, like a standing generator seems way more on brand. E oh, God, I thought that was a raid already. Hello. Ancient danger? There's only one danger on this map, and his name is Uber Chad. Bring it on, you big... Oh, good lord above. Hello. How you doing? Um... Yeah, run away. <laughs> oh, careful, Connie Rollman. Uh... God, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Go, get in. Go, 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 Uber Chad. Get him. Fuck him up. Boom. Look at him go. Discombobulate. Good stuns. Good stuns. Fist fight that centipede. Chad, get down here. Careful. Careful. Oh, Connie Rollman. Why are they going for Connie? What the fuck's wrong with him? Oh, my God. Fist fight that centipede. Fist fight that centipede. There's no one stronger on this map. <laughs> Look at them go! My boys! Did you just suplex? What was that? It was an RKO on a centipede? Do that again. Beautiful. Beautiful. That, my friends, was a work of art. How's Connie Rollman doing? Uh, not well, apparently. Who's that doctor? It's Stam Sully. Get up here. Damn, my man, you're not gonna die like this. You are not gonna die like this. I can't believe you RKO'd a uh, centipede. What is this? Adrenaline dump. A rush of adrenaline temporarily boosts their moving capabilities and numbs the perception of pain. Ah. Connie is developing hypovolemic shock. What the hell is hypovolemic shock? A life-threatening state caused by insufficient blood flow to the bloody. Has a chance to cause hypoxia damage to internal organs. What are you talking about? He's only shot in the large intestine by a minigun. He's fine. Okay, he's fine. He's massive. He's pumped. He's okay. He's fine. Ain't nothing but a peanut. Comment section, look alive. It's your time to shine, my friends. Stam Sully thinks we should give this settlement a name. What should it be called? Now, bear in mind, this is going to be a state-of-the-art, wonderful, perfect gym. Think of, of Olympic statues cast in marble stood around an enormous glistening pool in the center. And all the training you could possibly take. Give me a name. I'm just going to hit randomize for now. We'll rename it tomorrow. Jamestown. That is just, just awful. Oh, my God. <laughs> Everything a grown boy needs. Oh, straight from the nutrient paste dispenser. Delicious. It's a power of future technology, my friends. Oh, Uber Chad. Uber Chad, that's too much weight for one person. But I'm just like 10% like concerned. 20% uh, concerned. 40% concerned. Critical alert fire. I'm 60% concerned. Welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker. Go stand there and fight this fire for me. The caravan will help. Or they'll die horribly. Oh, my things. Oh, Connie Rollman's on fire. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to stand in the fire. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We, we need something to put this fire out because this is getting out of control. Uh, oh, God. I've tried nothing on him all out of ideas. Ah, oh, shit. I don't think there is much I can do other than stand and watch them. Foggy rain. Oh, my God. Foggy rain. Thank you. Just as it was about to hit the house. Well, sadly, we lost some of the rice crop, but I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll manage for the time being. Look at all this way that we've got. Turn into a vending machine? Yeah, absolutely. My people don't have to pay, right? Just the just the just the people. Otherwise, they're all going to starve to death. You know what? Let's not let's not risk that for the time being. 
It's my only source of way. Sorry, what are your combat supply? They've also sent an exotic goods trader. Well, let's go and have a look, see what they've got. I mean, I haven't got much to offer them. Tell them a little pre-workout, you know? What have you got for me? Jump packs would be absolutely incredible in this. Oh, my God. Shield belts, too. Oh, hold on, though. That could be really, really good. That could be the difference between life and death. Sell a little medicine. Because, you know, medicine isn't the difference between life and death. We'll never sell the trend. You will never get this. Buy the shield belt. Uh, put the money in your pocket. See what the other people have to sell, I suppose. Who would like the shield belt? I guess Uber Chad, given that he's our warrior. I mean, obviously, they're all warriors. They're all warriors, okay? Anybody who steps into a gym's a goddamn warrior. He's not a good trader. Hello there. That person was covered in kisses. Did you see that? <laughs> what an odd thing to sell. <laughs> Can't afford any of this. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Are you good? Hello? What happened there? Oh, God, it's already happening. What are we going to have to fist fight here? It's a pack of men hunting oo woo burbs. Or two of them. Oh, am I about a roundhouse kicker? Lovely cute bird. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Thank you, Connie. It's okay. He's put them out of their misery. It's not a problem anymore. Did you actually get that oo woo benefit from kicking him in the goddamn head? <laughs> We've all got recreation unfulfilled, so let's throw down a lovely... Oh, no martial arts target. Ah, oh, shit. Can we do anything? Spinning dummy? I suppose that's better than nothing, right? There you go. Jump rope requires cloth. Exercise ball requires cloth. Archery target. That's something. It takes a lot of strength to, uh, to draw back a big, big old bow. Basketball? Throw down some basketball. Oh, I know. It's cardio, okay? Oh, God. It's that basketball hoop. The one that sounds like walls being smashed. A local turkey has gone mad. Well, turkey, I'm afraid, my friend. <laughs> it's a bad day to be you. <laughs> <laughs> Free protein right there. Get that shit back to base. It'll be pleased to know the green bean issue is fixed. And actually, someone's got an expertise. All of them have an expertise. Is it in strength, per chance? Wowie, it absolutely is. Who could have believed that? Uh, I'm going to go for dueling to make them faster at punching. And then I'm going to go uh, dueling to make them faster at punching. I think finally I'll probably go for dueling to make them faster at punching. Oh, God, we're going to need that ice bath sooner rather than later. Summer has begun and we've got a heat wave. Got enough power for this? Yeah, just about. I think we can we can just about scrape by some sort of cooler. How are they all getting on? I presume they're all, like, good friends. Look at this. Have some rest, Stamp. You see, rest is as important as the exercise in the first place. This is strenuous work, plowing all these fields. They're actually all like best friends. Connie is very good friends with Stam Sully and best friends with Uber Chad. I'm glad they're getting along. They're probably very excited to work together. Stam, maybe not as good friends with everyone else, but everyone loves him. He is the aesthetic bro, after all. Now, if we're going to build a gym, I'm going to need marble statues everywhere. Luckily, I can solve both pretty easily. There's your marble statues. We've got the discus statue, thinker statue, Greek statues. It's what you want to be looking at. More importantly, we've got a quarry. Obviously, we've got a quarry. Okay, it's hard work. It's lifting heavy things. This was the original gym. When you think about it, I should probably put that more in the marble just in case. Get closer, marble. There's some, there's some right there. That's way too far away. Don't listen to my nonsense. I've never played this game before. Let's put that, like, right right there. Then it's, it's a little bit sheltered by the mountain. Nice and convenient. It's just a quick walk away from the house. Actually, let's crack open a cold one with the boys. Let's go and open that hermetic crate and then brain wiring. God damn it. If that was jump packs, that would have been a different situation. See if we've maybe got some friends who want to join us in the... I, I'm the good fight. Join my gym. Hello, how you doing? Jenna Jet. Hello. Uh, we've got Falia Aklink. Uh, they're a high mate. N. Victor N. Nobody's very good at strength, though, are they? I mean, they're the people that you want to join you, right? Strength 7, brawler, a passion in it. Welcome to the gym. Welcome to the gym, my friend. Uh, we'll have to throw down some very basic sleeping spots. I'm sorry, this isn't going to be very comfortable. You're going to have to sleep next to that turkey. <laughs> uh, you can't, you physically cannot do strengths or rescue, and then I guess we'll send you on your way. Ah, uh, strength three, but no passion in it, like not interested. You can't, listen, you can't force someone to be interested. That's not how it works. Um, yeah, you go rescue, oh shit. Yeah, no, we're gonna need a lot more spots than that. You're very right. Anyone that's good at doctoring? Oh no. Oh no, I don't think I'm gonna be able to save all these people, unfortunately. Ah, uh, building out in seven hours. You, listen, you haven't got a passion in strength. I'm sorry. We got, we got to focus on the bros first. Ace who joins. Hello. Hello, welcome. Oh my God, you were the one who, uh, hard worker, too smart, interested. Interested but not convinced quite yet, but don't worry, my friends. There is absolutely a chance they could get a, get a high passion, maybe even a critical passion from doing their day-to-day -day stuff. God damn it. Well, you can't save everyone. That's unfortunate. They didn't have they didn't have any interest. Maybe they could maybe they could have loved it if they'd have given it a chance. Jed joins. Jed's joins. Jet, were you any good? Hello. 
Brawler and strength. We got the, the two people that I actually wanted to join us have joined us. Oh, it's damn Sully is broken down. Malnutrition hasn't had enough gains today. That's understandable. Oh, God, he's just too strong. Stam, stop it. Ooh, hello. Wait, no, that's bad. Since there are three loyalists in your faction, then I'm on the... No, 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 no. What the fuck is this? Loyal to who? The Arcotex Pregnancy Abhorrent. No, 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 no. I'm not about this at all. Hey, here's the other thing I forgot to mention. My very good friend Dexter Feldo added to the Jimbro Flavor Pack that as you lift weights, as you build your physical strength, there's a chance of getting the Hulk body for supreme flavor. Because it makes sense. The more you train, the stronger you should physically look, right? I couldn't believe there wasn't already a mod that did that. You can't just turn up and immediately tell us how to run our gym. That's not on. That's not on for a second. Let's sort this shit out. Ah, oh, fucking ideology. Always getting in the way of the important stuff. Look at this stuff. Jesus, there's so much. There is an orgy called, uh... Kissing the homies good night. <laughs> Who's going to be our spotter? This is our moral guide. Ideally, that would be Stam Sully. But he's too busy beating the shit out of my bedroom. Yeah, there, there. We're good. Right, let's wait for Uber Chad to finish his way. And let's make you our head spotter. Oh, N has died. Cause heat stroke. Well, that's okay. On the plus side, that's dealt with all those rituals we had to worry about. <laughs> oh, we can just about solve it, potentially, if we get a vent in there. It's going to make my people super warm, but it might stop everyone else from dying. Connie, if you would, my friend. Appreciate that, fella. There you go. Looking big, looking swole. Appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, Sue, come here a second. Stam, it's time to convert someone. Oh, she came dressed for the job. Hello. You already got your gym equipment going. Uh, hit with the hell yeah. And kapow. Welcome aboard, my friend. Oh, 25%. What the hell are you talking about, 25%? Look at how aesthetic he is. And you're telling me 25%? Now we've had someone join who isn't even interested in strength training. I suppose, if nothing else, you can sweep the floors. We, we, need, we need a good janitorial star for what will be our gym. Just start slapping on a base extension, bro. You know how it is. Uh, the problem is now that this idiot's joined us. Oh, no, but you died. Now we're all good. Same it's the right number of bedrooms. Thank God you died. Heat wave is over. Thank you. Thank you. We might live for another month. This is actually kind of good, though, when we've got you converted, because you, my friend, have a bunch of proselytizing. We can just use you as, like, our our mascot to convince people to join the gym. It's perfect. Ah! Uh, not Jordan Freeman. Not Jordan Freeman. Well, yes, we do have the Joris mod as an excuse to punch Joruses. You're all right. Uber Chad, sweep the legs. Oh, you big bitch. Finish it off. This is all well and good. But I need to build the gym. This is getting out of hand. Convert you. Get you converted over and you can help convert other people. Kapow. Welcome to the gym, my friend. Just need a tiny little bit more infrastructure and then we're good, right? And that, my friends, is a pissery. Lovely wooden toilets with wooden floors. It's the most hygienic bathroom I've ever built. <laughs> oh, wooden basins. Oh, this is disgusting. This is disgusting. What have I done? Maybe I make room for a shower in the corner. This place has got a stink. Let's have a look at our new people then. Very neurotic, kind, and delicate for our high mate. High mates are base game. Gonna keep emphasizing that till the end of time so I don't have people tell me otherwise. Model citizen is ideal for a gym. That's great news. And then you are a fashion designer. Of course, Brawler is fantastic. Pretty all right crafting too. Hey, that's gonna solve a hole. You could be the one to craft the gym outfits. Beautiful. Well, the workout stuff, you know, the straps and the... And the belts and everything else that you might need. And then we've got Asu. Hard worker too smart. Polyamorous. Hello there. Cr nine crafting. A little bit of passion and strength. And when you lay it out like that and consider we've got a good chef, good intellectual, good medical, good social, good crafting, good plants character now. This is like a proper complete colony. All it took was one measly RKO on a centipede. No. No. Neurotonin type 4 red zone variants have been spotted. Oh my god. Bros. It's time. We're going to show these void monsters what we're all about. Get him. Get him, squad. RKO. Kick her in the head. Kapow. Get him. Uh, like Uber Chad. Uh, uh, Ronnie, get in there. Sorry, Connie Rollman. Look at him go. My boys. Yeah, uh, just search and destroy. By all means. Oh, my boys. Look at them go. <laughs> Boy, do you don't know what you're messing with here, my friends. Name nothing but a peanut. Lightweight, baby. It's not about how big you are on the outside. It's about how big you are on the inside. Ah. Uh, don't, don't think about that one too much. Oh, what a slam there. Finish off Royd Hulk. I'll show you a fucking Royd Hulk, you big bitch. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. <laughs> oh my, and now McRonald's has turned up. They must have sent the void monsters to weaken me up. 
You clown motherfucker! Yeah, buddy! Who? Lightweight, baby! <laughs> he dropped his nuggets. <laughs> this is the worst fucking thing I have ever done in Reward by far. Could you imagine, though? Could you imagine if we grabbed the, McDonald uh, the McDonald's clown and we convert them over? Could you imagine if we pulled that off? This is what they got. Your blood feeder, obviously hyper aggressive, intimidating presence, unstoppable. You know how it goes. Listen, I think they're irredeemable. I think they might have a passion for strength, but this is not. This is just. This is irredeemable. We can't have this. I'm sorry. You're no longer allowed to corrupt the youth. Get out of here. What did that one drop? Oh, strawberry milkshakes. Oh, delicious. We can't eat those. Get him in the bin. Thank you, Connie. The land is fleeing. No, you don't have to flee. <gasps> oh, shit! They got back up? They got back up? What the hell? Get in, get in, get in, get indoors, get indoors. Must have just discombobulated them and not finished the job. God damn, McDon uh, McDonald's clown. I'm gonna get sued for this series, aren't I? This is the one. I really feel like you're misrepresenting our brand. <laughs> misrepresent these nuts. They're all finished off. They're all finished off. I think we're good. I don't think that cost us any opinion with those people. Connie took a hit. Are you good? Shot in the torso, shot in the lung, but he's just walking it off. It, it's nothing. It means nothing to him. Rescue that fella. We're kind people. You got, you're locking go back to work now. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I don't... Listen, I don't like the fact that uh, four, three underwear-wearing ladies were the first ones to join our colony. That wasn't intentional, obviously. It was just whatever popped out of the... Popped out of the pods. An equal opportunities, Jim. That's how we do things. That's fine, if anything. It's good. It's nice. Oh, dear. Fractured humerus. Another two fractured humeruses? That's not that funny. Uber Chad, don't run. Why run when you can fight? Are there, how many are there? Are there others just out there in the in the map that I've missed? I like it. You three are on fighting, and then the other three can run for now until they've built up their strength a little bit more. I think I think that's fine how it is. Get him moved, Uber Chad. Look at him go. Unstoppable man. Why are we failing against this one so much? This one seems way stronger. Holy shit, look at that. Look at the beating it's taking. My god. Do they get back up? I don't know. They, they, they don't like resurrect or something, do they? Uh, just in case, maybe a crematorium. I know gyms aren't necessarily equipped very frequently with crematoriums, okay? Chaplain King cast abilities again. Come here a second. So now I had to add an underwear mod because this body root texture mod gives them like, you know, like like full on boobies, which is very illegal in YouTube. You can't, you can't be having that. Kapow. That's what we like to see. Back to good old-fashioned God-given pump. Oh, new lovers. Hello there. Oh, it's the high mate and Connie Rollman. I need to rename all these people. We'll rename all these people soon. Don't worry. Shelter for a bull leaper? What the hell's a bull leaper? I mean, it would be nice just to get some friendship or maybe even some plastic. Ooh. We're going to have to do a little bit of bro science, okay, to find the best nutrition for our people. Okay, sure. I'll take that on. Uh, what's shelter for a bull? Bull, bull leaper? That's like your job. I thought that was some sort of horrifying monster, but no, you're actually just straight up a person. Okay, well, welcome, I suppose. Here to learn about gym culture. That's great. If anything, we encourage that, especially with Stan Sully here. Oh, Task Force 7, are you joking? It's been five minutes since Ronald turned up. Sorry, Muck Ronald turned up. Hello? Oh, shit. They're here for the train. Not controlled su uh, substance in the United Kingdom. Please don't shut down my channel. Thank you. Uh, they're a hussar. They're a hussar, but they've got a non-lethal dart gun. They're just here to arrest us. They're not here to, like... It'll not either kill us. Not to burn the base down or anything like that. There's just a warrant out for Uber Chad's arrest because he's been trying to craft Ultra Tran. That's no one's fault. That's no one's fault, but Uber Chad's not gonna let him take him. Oh! Shit. Well, that's a diplomatic incident, isn't it? Oh, he's crying. Oh, he's crying. Oh, that's so sad. Listen, I tried to take him alive. You saw me do it. You saw me try to take him alive. Oh, shit. Well... These things happen, don't they? Oh, God, hide the body. So, someone someone quickly get rid of the body. Chockingly large graveyard already. Obviously, I had to bury the people who came out of the caskets. We had to bury some of our guests that got murdered by those void monsters. You know how it goes. Fucking hell. What's going on today? Drunken void have turned up. Uh, the problem is they are... <laughs> He's having a heart attack. <laughs> You're just supposed to turn up drunk. You're not supposed to be... <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, that's so sad. This is why they're the void rejects, okay? Oh, my God. That's so sad. Am I about to punch the shit out of a man having a heart attack on the floor? Sure bet I am. God, that's so sad. 
Red wine. No, 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 no. This is why they're this is why they're drunk and void, okay? All they do is drink red wine. It was not the, <laughs> it was not the raid I expected when I saw the word void. There, we got the body hidden away. A worthy adversary. Oh, that's a nice thing to write on their grave. I mean, I'm gonna hide it, but that's a lovely thing to say. What have you written about some of these other people? From animosity to serenity, may you find rest in eternity. Ah. Oh. You know that that was Stam Sully that wrote that. A poor guy. Yeah, these are the people that we didn't actually know that just got killed by the monsters. Here he shall see no enemy but winter and rough weather. Oh, there he is. N, the man I couldn't save. Oh, sick. There you go. Hey, everything's online. Look at that. They finally dug the bloody well. Great work. No more stinky showers. Thank you. Oh, actually, the bodies aren't much worse than regular room world bodies. Look at that. They're just, they're just totally ripped. Well, that's better. God, Jesus. So muscular. So powerful. We've got one final very important thing we've got to do, huh? It's important to know exactly what you're aiming for, my friends. Let's get you chiseling some blocks for us. Large vein? Yeah, you're goddamn right. We would like to call it vascular here. <laughs> That's the fucking worst joke I've ever made. Fucking <laughs> huge, bro. Looking vascular. And speaking of vascular, get me a marble Greek statue. My friends, this will mark the breaking grounds of our gym. That's going to be the centerpiece right there. It's finally time. Look, they're turning up the strength in the quarry too. This is a beautiful moment. Days, non-stop work, dedication, sweat. Those lifting each other up, helping each other towards a shared goal. Through blood, sweat, and tears, we can help one another be better. By pushing yourself further than ever before, through rain and shine, through thick and thin, you two can achieve a thing of beauty. Wow. I don't know what I expected, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> there it is, the centerpiece of what will be our new gym. Oh, Stam and Asu are now in a relationship. Well, that's nice. Uh, are you converted? Oh, you are. We're just waiting on Jet then. Come here. And gym life for all. Look at that. Are we all on God-given games now? Everybody besides our, our guest. With that, my friends, with this beautiful start with beautiful people, we will leave it there for today. How long will this series go on for? Well, the plan was always until the new DLC comes out, which is in two days' time. A silly, fun, odd playthrough that I didn't envisage having some enormous ending or anything like that. But, of course, if it is fun, if people end up enjoying it, I'm more than happy to keep it going. You know, DLC be damned or do a second series on the DLC just looking at the kind of base game changes and stuff like that. Who knows? I will leave it up to you in the comments to make that decision. And again, if you would like to play along, make sure you download the save from the YouTube description. Sadly, cannot be hosted on Steam anymore. And tomorrow we return to build the gym of my hopes and dreams. Of course, thank you all for joining me. I want to give a big thank you first and foremost because we've crossed 500 executive producer tier patrons this month. That is an insane amount. You've only got to do some very quick back of the napkin math. Uh, that's the $10 tier. So that is an enormous gift you have given me. Uh, I am I'm forever thankful and grateful to, to everyone who's been part of that. Obviously, I keep my Patreon income public anyway. I don't want people to ever think I'm going through hardships or anything like that to ever give that impression. So always make a, an informed decision on stuff like that. But thank you for uh, sticking by the channel. I think especially the last month, like, the last series was not good. I, I'll be the first to admit that. The Ultra Wizard Project... I knew kind of 20 episodes in it was always going to be a disappointment because we'd effectively already reached the theoretical limits of sidecasting uh, before then, right? There were already characters who were already crazy powerful and had reached the peak within our first generation. So I always knew it was going to be a disappointment, which is why I kind of set ourselves up there to hopefully redeem it in a sequel series so uh, i will try and make it up for that one being quite terrible so i appreciate you all sticking with me through that regardless of it being kind of this this new hype for the patron so thank you appreciate it thank you for being here uh crusader kings 3 coming soon uh basically whenever and then maybe also and this really does depend on how much time i'm getting certainly we're getting least and sam episodes every uh other day at this point two edited episodes a day on the main channel is already like a total nightmare fallout 3 on the second channel plus uh potentially looking at the new remote dlc it's gonna be a lot so uh hopefully your patreon support is is going well is 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 well returned uh, anyway thank you thank you for being here thank you of course to the executive producer patrons of today including wazi tri v h boop a million violets akimba orphans doctor iguana dome hudzu wadzu phasimus john viral dames ditchell alex dimitri michael bolt chiller bella Cosmos Senti, Mike 
Matty, Couscous, Litherbreaker, Freakin' Satan, Volorath, The Cat Lover 366, Shatner's Bassoon, Teb Funk, China Mensa, Blizzard 4337, uh, and Beta Soldier for their support, the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Hope you enjoy this very silly, very strange kind of challenge series. We'll see how much threat it really becomes. Obviously, when they start turning up with rifles, that's when we've really got to panic. But for now, should be smooth going while we get up on our feet. And thank you as well to Metbar, Vibes, Coy, Christine, Noteworthy, Thomas DeSantis, all the waifu references, Mediocre Jake, Hottie Sphinx, and Chris as well.